In just hours, some students are vowing to protest at today's graduation for Bethune-Cookman University. They're not happy about the school's choice for commencement speaker, U.S. Education Secretary Betsy DeVos. But this morning, the school is once again defending its choice and vowing her speech will go on. Sashel Saunders is live at the Ocean Center where that commencement speech is happening today. And Sashel, the school says it's going to have a press conference about this even before the speech. Yes, it's causing such an uproar that they wanted to uh, have a press conference this morning at 930 before that commencement ceremony begins at noon. They say uh, most recently that they respect students free speech, but that Betsy DeVos will be on that stage today, whether they like it or not. Bethune-Cookman University students and administration continue to bump heads over the planned commencement speech of Betsy DeVos. 60,000 signatures, you cannot beat the numbers and you can't beat facts. And so that's why we brought the petition up here. Students offering up what they say was 60,000 petition signatures protesting DeVos. The school quickly shot back, showing empty boxes, saying the petitions were incomplete and barely filled one full box. Neither side's take has been independently confirmed, but the last-ditch effort to have DeVos removed was seemingly unsuccessful. In a statement to News 6, DeVos's press secretary said she looks forward to delivering the commencement address and engaging in productive dialogue. Um, I don't think it's too late. Um, I think we have been in con um, we have been trying to get contact from Dr. Jackson and the Board of Trustees since we found out about this information. Students aren't backing down, planning to protest the ceremonies. They maintain that DeVos does not share the values of the historically black college. Now, again, that press conference addressing this situation will happen here at the Ocean Center where the commencement will be at 930 this morning. The ceremony begins at noon. Students do plan to protest and the uh, administration says that they respect the students' right to protest if that's what they choose to do. For now, reporting live in Daytona Beach, Sashel Saunders, News 6.